ag is a huge agency, and ag has a lot of different departments that uh, are responsible for a lot of different um, uh, enforcement in the state, and they would have to make some significant uh, changes if the state shuts down. Kent, good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning, Hoppy. Thanks for having me on today. It's good to speak with you. So, ag, as I said, is a huge department. You have responsibilities in a lot of different areas. Are you prepared for a shutdown? Well, we met on Monday, and uh, we're starting to uh, have those discussions. You know, as you said, it's going hour by hour, but we're starting to plan. Uh, but the folks in West Virginia need to understand what happens if there's a, a shutdown with the Department of Agriculture. You know, uh, Agriculture Department is uh, the front line of food safety for the state of West Virginia. We have uh, live livestock that needs to be uh, taken care of at our state farms. Uh, they've got to be fed. Somebody's got to be paid to feed them. Uh, we have uh, Cedar Lakes uh, that we depend on the summers for their uh, revenue. Uh, you know, we took that over in a deficit. We're trying to dig that uh, flagship center out of the uh, hole. And if we lose that revenue, uh, that's going to be devastating. So there's a whole lot of things that are going on in the Department of Agriculture that most people don't even realize what's going on. I, I would agree. Kent Leonhardt is with us, State Ag Commissioner. So, Kent, on, you mentioned food safety. What is the ag, What are the Ag Department's responsibilities on food safety, and how would this impact food safety? Well, a simple one that most people can understand is all the soft-served ice creams uh, in all the uh, fast food restaurants. The Department of Agriculture is, making, is responsible for making sure that they're safe and they don't have high bacteria counts to, to reduce foodborne illnesses. Uh, we check foods in the uh, summer feeding program for kids uh, that are that come into the state. Uh, you know, we run the uh, the summer school part of the feeding for the summer school program as well to make sure the food gets to those children. Uh, pesticides. Uh, we won't have any inspectors on pesticides out there to make sure that's going correctly. Uh, auctioneers. Uh, we uh, monitor and we uh, license these state's auctioneers to make sure that we have good consumer protection. Things of that nature. Uh, Kent, so if the state shuts down, do you just stop everything? Or, or, or have you have you triaged and said, well, we got to do this, and then figure out how to do those things? Well, we have triaged uh, some of it. Uh, I'll be working for nothing, obviously. Uh, <laughs> for no, But I will work. And a lot of my staff said that they would work as well uh, until we get this resolution. Hopefully, the legislature will see fit to, to back pay my... Uh, uh, my employees, uh, the state workers, but we are going to just, we have to do something. Uh, we just can't let live animals run around the farms and do nothing. Right, absolutely. How many employees do you have in ag? What are the total number of employees? Well, there's about 233 in the department right now, and we're severely cut back on the regulatory side. We could actually use more, but budget cuts have uh, hurt us over the past years. But we're trying to right-size the government and hopefully – uh, at least within our Department of Agriculture, we're trying to right-size the, the department so we can get back to the essential services that we're supposed to have. You know, I'm just thinking, and I should probably reach out to DEP, too. I mean, think about them, you know, Department of Environmental Protection, inspect, inspections that they do. I mean, DNR. I mean, I, mean, that I, mean, nature. I mean, all, oh, yeah, all across government. I mean, there are things that the legitimate functions of government that are carried out every day that do they continue? Do they not continue? If the people do them, do they get paid? Uh, do they? Who know, I don't know. Do you? What, what happens if uh, an avian influenza outbreak comes along? We're responsible for monitoring that and, and containing that. And that's a half billion dollar industry in the state of West Virginia. We inspect the uh, tremendous over the last four months. We've shipped more logs overseas than we ever have. And the Department of Agriculture is very much involved in making sure that those logs are free uh, from foreign infestation. Um, do we stop those inspections? Well, if we stop those inspections, a lot of businesses shut down because they can't uh, export those logs. Uh, they, those inspections have to be done within two weeks of transportation overseas you know kent so we you were no you were look you were in the state senate uh, so you know how the legislative process works now you're in charge of a big state agency why are we even talking about this i'm not yelling at you i'm just yelling in general i, I, I mean why are we even why do we even have to do this how much how much energy is being wasted planning for a shutdown 
I mean, a, a, a lot, right? Instead of, of instead of doing the responsibilities that, that you're you're charged with doing. I mean, my gosh, this is it's, a, it's amazing, isn't it? Well, it's it's uh, and and like I say, you know, I I I could. There are I I know all that you know all these people. It's West Virginia. Everybody knows everybody. Okay, and I don't know all these right. people, and they're they're for the most part they are good and decent people. They have different views about what's what's in the best interest of the state of West Virginia. Okay, I get that, I get that, but you know, leaders do, and you know this. You're you you're a lead an agency. You're in the military. Leaders organize and make decisions, and if they what if if what they want to do they can't accomplish, what do they do? They fall back or they pivot and do something else. But they make decisions they and they move ahead. So help me on that, it, right? Yeah. Right. You're absolutely correct, Hoppy. Uh, you know, you know, you know, from my voting record in the in the uh, Senate, I'm not in favor of tax increases. Uh, I'm also not in favor. But we can't keep going down the same path that we've been doing over the years. I mean, it looks like our government's going to grow again. If you look at the governor's proposal, the, the total revenue he wants to spend is more than what we did last year. And our population is shrinking. So how do we keep spending more? And then well, there's a cut to my agency. And so it doesn't look good to me. Well, that, that's that's a valid point. But, you know, Kent, your party, the Republican Party, talks about cuts all the time. And it's very difficult. It has been very difficult to get consensus among Republicans who are supposedly about smaller government, right-sizing government, to make cuts. Look at the House. Look at the House Republicans. Is that you can't get a consensus. They're like, okay, we're going to cut, um, you know, eliminate uh, five colleges. Oh my gosh, you know, or we're going to, or can't you say, we're, you know, you can't that do that. District. Yeah, I know. And you I know, know how it goes. It's very difficult. You know, and, or, difficult. Or, are you, are you going to eliminate, or are you going to eliminate the uh, subsidy for dog racing and Republicans who are from that district and maybe justifiably say, well, you can't do that. And then, then the governor goes up there and they save dog racing. So uh, how do you cut? How do you right size? It gets impossible. Well, it does, does get impossible. I think everybody has to get in a room and say, okay, you know, let's take a vote on the first cut and let's take a vote on the next cut. If there's going to be a revenue measure increase, okay, Governor, you get a revenue measure increase. You get one, and then we go do some of these cuts that we prioritize. Uh, there's got to be some, you know, a lot of foreign negotiations. They set a, way, a framework for their negotiation. I don't think we've set a framework for the negotiations yet. Well, that is an outstanding point. And how many times have – Lawmakers and the governor, and I realize it's not easy, but how many times have they gone back to the same things? Say, wait a minute, I thought that was that. Well, no, we're going to go back to that. We're not going to go back to that. So you can never get a resolution if you're going to keep going back to the same thing. That's right. They need to come up with a framework of how they're going to do this and then stick to that plan. Do you think they're going to get something done, or do you think you're going to have to shut down? I think they're going to get something done. I've got faith in those. They're all good people. Nobody wants to shut down. Uh, obviously, being a military planner, I'm going to prepare for it, but uh, I'm going to hold out hope that we get this resolved. Yeah, you know, being a military guy and you were a career military guy, Kimmy, what do you what do you do? What do you do when it seems all the odds are against you? What what's what do you do? What what does the military tell you to do when it seems like it's foobar? You attack. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at the, at the basic school for officers in the Marine Corps, there was a, a famous saying, you know, they put you in a situation and they look at you and they say, what now, Lieutenant? Uh, we attack the problem, you know? Okay, well, attack, okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right. Uh, Kent, anything else you want to add that Ag is preparing for in, in the case of a shutdown? Anything you want people no, to know? I want the I want the citizens of West Virginia to know that the Department of Agriculture has great personnel uh, they're committed to the safety and the welfare of the citizens of West Virginia. We're going to do whatever we can to keep the citizens as safe and healthy and protect as many industries. Because, you know, we we protect about $4 billion worth of industry in the state between agriculture and forest products. So we're going to do whatever we can to try to protect those industries and keep things moving forward. Um, like I said, we have a lot of great people, and we're going to just keep trying to move forward. But... My gosh, we got to get something done. Yeah. Kent Lee and Hart's done. Yeah.